Hello, and welcome to this episode. And I want to start this episode by asking you this question. Now, do you know that out of the 12 months of a year, most of us, most of us will have four months, that is one third of a year, will be going through some kind of clash with the monthly energy, with the yearly energy. That's, that's a lot of a life, right? So in this episode, I want to talk about the clash, how you deal with the clash, how you move and dance with this energy. So it will not become a difficult time. It can become an enlightening time, okay? So I'm going to use, I know I'm fashionably late with the March energy forecast, but I'm going to talk about March energy. I'm going to use the March energy as a backdrop. So that give you an example, what is the manifestation of the clash and how you can move through it. And the second thing, I also want to use this month's energy to talk about two case study uh, or two persons chart, Shane Wong and Kim Kli Kijin. So if you are in Australia, you will know these two Australian personalities has recently uh, had a sudden passing with the heart issue. So I want to talk about that. Okay, so let's let's jump into the um, March energy first. And I want to share my screen. Okay. Right. So, so the March energy is yin water rabbit. Okay, started on the 5th of March, and it will finish on the 5th of April. So as you can see, yin water sitting on rabbit. So rabbit really belongs to the wood energy. And if you know a little bit about the five element theory, you would know that water grows the wood. So this rabbit is really being nourished by the in waters because the in water is the rain, right? It's raindrops, it's the morning dew. So think of like after this rain for a few days the the grass will grow in your yard you know including the weeds and these are the strong wood energy so this month a lot of people has been feeding this strong wood energy when the wood energy becomes really potent although this month is the yin wood but don't underestimate the yin energy Yin energy can be subtle, but it does not mean the strength is actually, you know, any, any less, any, any weak. So you will feel this very strongly. And many people will feel quite irritable because of this underlying wood energy is, you know, creating changes, creating shift, creating movement right and this year is also the young water uh, sitting on the tiger which is also wood so in march we have this overly dominant wood energy that is creating a lot of shift for people and if you are not moving or dance with this energy you can find that things can, can has been quite tough Right. And I have been actually um, putting a poll on Instagram story. So, by the way, if you are not following me on Instagram, um, please do follow in the links below um, because I usually jump on there and then share my thoughts, share some reminders in terms of the energy. So when I actually put out a poll and say, who is feeling this month is like irritable, impatience, it just in general feels challenging, right? 95% people said, oh my goodness, heck yes. I so feel this. I thought the world is against me. So if you are feeling that, let me tell you, 
the world is not against you. It's purely because of the wood energy can make you feel like that. And this is why we learn the elements. We learn the lesson. We take the intelligence from the nature, right? Part of the reason is knowing this. You would know the dominant emotion for the wood element is anger. It's anger and frustration. It has something to do, or from the traditional Chinese medicine's perspective, it, it is a liver tree, right? It has something to do with liver and gallbladder. So you will feel impatient. You will feel irritable. You will feel like, you know, resentment and, and restlessness and this unsettled feeling, right? You could, you, you normally would be a really calm person, but you feel you suddenly being knocked off your perch. That's the feeling how you, you know, most likely this month that you've been going through. So what do we do? What do we do under, you know, this type of energy? We have two choices. We can stay in the state of anger, frustration and resentment and blame the world, blame the people, blame the society and the government and continue to stay in that negative state or we can choose more empowering thoughts. We can choose to believe that this is, the energy is always moving, right? This is a statement. Energy is ever-changing, ever-moving, never static. I could not tell you how much relief this simple statement bring me during this time because I know this time doesn't, doesn't matter, you know, how much you feel at the time that things may just completely fall apart or you feel you will not pass this day, you know, that you were totally in the gutter. But let me tell you that this is, this is a, something you can lean into the energy actually will change you will move through out of this phase but even that like beyond that believe that the world your life is an experience right the the universe whatever the experience you are going through take it life is a classroom when you are going through times such as clash beautiful time to learn Beautiful time to download some lessons. And this is, in a way, I know it sounds weird. I, I actually learned the most valuable lesson during the time that I'm moving through the clash energy. The things that I would learn, I would not, I would not comprehend during the good times, right? So this is where um, I want to share three things. But before that, I want to show you particularly this month is difficult for you if you have a rooster sign in your chart. Uh, if you don't know what your chart is, you can always go through, go to my website um, and then you can get a free chart sent to you, okay? So if you have a rooster in your chart, anywhere in your chart, could be in day pillar, uh, month pillar, year pillar, or hour pillar. So there is, you know, potentially um, uh, four different places that can have rooster. So anywhere, you will feel the clash energy, right? The severity of the clash might be different. The manifestation of the clash might be different in life. Um, but you'll feel it to a degree. And if you have learned the charts with me in the Wealth Alchemy course, or you have done coaching with me, you would know how, how this you know, will manifest, depends on where it falls in your chart. But let's just um, talk about the day pillar. So if it is in your day pillar, which is um, the rooster is sitting in the, uh, at the bottom, what does that mean? 
when the clash comes, if it is a clash for, for example, this month, because it's a rabbit, it actually clash with rooster. But regardless, um, you have a rooster or you have any other time um, of the year that you know you are in clash, it means when this animal sign coming and clashing with the branch in your day pillar, that means that your foundation is being attacked, is being confronted, right? Your foundation is, you know, is not stable. Your foundation becomes um, vulnerable. This is a vulnerable time for you. Right? So, so firstly, aware of that. Don't just madly thinking, oh, the world is against me. That person, this client is actually against me. Don't take it personal. The best thing to move this energy first and foremost is be aware. And be aware and know this is just a universal energy. We all experience that, you know. We might experience that at a different time, but we all do. And there are certain lessons, Harold, depends on what your charts is, of course. So I won't be able to dive into that. But always know there is a lesson. There is a higher lesson for it. But let's talk about how you deal with it. Three things I want you to remember. Even this month is not your clash month. Um, or, you know, if you have a monkey sign and this year is your clash year, right? So I want you to remember, always have these three things in your head. So whenever you know this is a clash month or time or day, could be day as well, right? This is going to be calms your spirit so that you, you don't have to really um, dive into the negative state to move through your life. You can do it in a much, much more empowered way. So number one is how you can reduce the impact of the clash is by creating changes. So this is the beauty of knowing why, what is the, what is a clash? Clash is the energy is confronting each other. So once you know that, you honor it. You honor this energy by going, moving through it, not fearful, but calmly moving through it. So when the deadline starts suddenly change, when the goalposts in your life, whatever that might be changed, go with it. Don't fight it. Don't say, don't say, oh, why is this? Just take a deep breath and move through it and laugh about it right? And this is one thing I find is so very beneficial for me is I do things differently. When the clash months come, I think creatively. I start to try different things, things I might be fearful to do or I might not have time to do before because everything else is actually changing, is moving peace, right? I am going to actually do something unpredictable, do something un, um, impromptu, do something what I really feel like at the time, even it does not make any sense. I go and do it. You can uh, even baby steps, like you can even change the routine of your day, right? Change your different driving routes. Usually, if you usually take train, driving, drive, or take a bus or work the different street, Go somewhere different. Create that change so that you honor this energy. Do your business differently. Think outside the square, right? If there is a difficult client show up, which most likely sometimes during the clash month, if you're running your own business, this could happen. People canceling, people rescheduling, people just doing different things, right? It will show up. How do you deal with it? Don't think they're against you. They're not against you. It's just energy. So take it in and then think, can I do things differently? Because when there is a problem arise, 
Do not think as a problem. Think that as a solution. The universe is actually bring you attention to this area, so you can think creatively and provide a solution for long, long run even. And this actually works again and again in my life. That sometimes in the clash months, things I created, things I put in place. It actually really serves me for a long, long run. Okay, so it's beautiful. I always say thank you. Be grateful about that, and thank you for the person who's showing up in the way, so that you can actually change, change the certain systems. Right, your life is a classroom. So, if you think it that way, clash is not, you know, that.、Um, Difficult or challenging, it's fun. Make it fun, and this is where I actually want to address the third、uh, point. Move up your emotional scale to joy, because when you are thinking, "Oh my God, this person, why are they doing this to me?" or "I didn't mean to say that," and this is this could be this month. You know, I just you know said this or post that, and people took it wrongly. Why they did this to me? So. You know that if we stuck in that kind of negative judgment state, your vibrational scale is very is on the lower end. What do we want to do? We want to be move up to the joy. We want to be move up to the positivity, the optimism, contentment. Right. So whenever you are resisting this change. So when you find the clash energy is very difficult, or people find it difficult, is because you have a certain expectation. Things did not go your way, right? That's a fundamental what it, it is. So when you actually starting to release your expectation, release your judgment towards others, you think this is a lesson. So thankful, universe is delivering this to me in this way. You move up to the emotional ladder instantly. Right, so you—it's fun. Like like I said, it's fun to play this game with the universe. So you are moving closer to the vibrational frequency of joy. You are your frequency is up here, right? So what you attract would be would be very very different when you are down here, and things can. You know, become a vicious circle if you continue to be here. You're gonna. This is another thing of, you know, breaking the pattern. Do something different. If you have always been feeling down, feeling ah,、oh, sign or you know, pessimistic and depressed, would、well, do something different, right? Smile about it and see how that feels. So, moving up to your emotional ladder is、uh, another key thing. And now I also want to address this strength in your physical body. Very, very important, and which actually is a good segue to the two case study I want to share here. Is this month? If you're looking at the monthly energy, that there is a a very major clash on the heavenly stand on top, right? Is the fire clashes with water, and this in fire represents the heart. Um, issues, um, blood and nervous system. So,、um, which why I put it here is the fire clashes with water can indicate heart issues. And so that was the monthly energy, and it is really interesting to see these two Australian personalities. Had this really, really sudden tragedy happen to their life, right? So when I actually dive into Shane Wong's chart, that you can clearly see that his foundation has been clashed, right? Between the the rooster and rabbit is a clash in his chart, in his natal chart. But also interesting to see that in the ten year luck pillar fifty two, which he. Just about to move into the fifty-two,、um, the rabbit is showing up again. It's also posing a clash with his chart as well, and he is also moving through the in fire、um, 
10 year lag pillar. So, so the, when the element is on top or it's showing up, it means it's something that you need to pay attention to, okay? So as we mentioned from the traditional Chinese medicine's perspective, that showing up, the seven killing, um, sorry, I'm using this jargons, um, but if you don't know the charts, don't worry. But if you know what seven killing is, and this is the chart, it's, it's challenging you, right? So it, it's showing up around the heart around the nervous system, uh, around these um, um, emotions. Um, so, and obviously this is also clash with his month's pillar, which is the yin water. So as the March energy comes along, it manifested. And this is how the energy work, right? And similarly with Kimberly Kitchen's chart as well, that you will see that she is, her day master is the yin fire. Again, this also shows for Kimberly, stress probably is the worst emotion that she can embody or the first thing that she needs to move beyond is move away from stress. Okay, because this could be something detrimental for her. Um, and again, that her foundation is also being clashed and she is in this 44 to 53 10-year luck pillar, right? And rooster and, and rabbit, foundation, not stable. And yin water clash with in fire. So what happened during March, particularly this month, is the two energy in their charts that is relatable in their chart is showing up in the monthly energy. Okay. Again, this is where I'm coming back to that point of you need to strengthen your physical body. You need to know what is the vulnerable part in your chart so that you can take measure you can you can um do something about it right and this is where i come in here every month i want you guys to learn about the element i want you guys to understand how the monthly energy can affect us individually on your day-to-day -day life on your emotions on your physical bodies where do you need to look for you know this is where the charts offer so much wisdom and it's not me it's it's the chart is guiding me to help my clients to to move through things emotionally physically as well as spiritually okay so that's today's episode and i hope you learned a lot and if you like this episode and you like this channel please help me by subscribing it or uh, liking it or leaving a comment okay so i will see you ah here it is if you're interested for more you can sign up and to be my part of my community okay so happy in water Barista month i will see you next time <laughs>